Get it guys, it's Jarrah here and welcome back to The Lion Song. So, I loved the episode 1 which was silence. So I thought I would buy the rest of the 3 because I thought they were, would be really amazing to do and it looks very interesting. So we're going to do this one. Let's see how it goes. Vienna. Empress Elizabeth train station. Er, er. Now, Fre Freya, I've got my uh, tripod for my camera, happens to be right in front of the text. So, uh, sorry, I can't actually read it. Oh, yes, Paul. Every Ooh, hiccups. Every moment, something believe you. Why don't I believe you'll be true to me when you're gone? Well. I'm, I'm gonna be a pain. I'm sorry. I know. Okay, let's do this. We've had some fun times, haven't we? We've had some fun times, haven't we? Yes, we have so much fun time that I just pulled out my headphones. Wow, I'm not prepared for this video, am I? All aboard for Vienna Central. Next up, Vienna Central. Next up, Vienna Central. In case you didn't know where we were going, it's Vienna Central. Last stop? Who knows? I think the conductor knows. Go! Before I actually start to miss you. <laughs> we could have had that. We, could, we couldn't have that, could we? Wow, I can't read. May I join you? Of course. Plenty of room. Tell us all this time. Songs that begin to rhyme. Beauty of the beast. Vienna, an inner city street. Oh, come on, Grandad. I don't... You promised you'd introduce me. Yes, yes, I know. Have you changed your mind? This, this is it right here. Huh? Clement? The others? Will they be here? You know what I think of those people. I know, I know. But father, grandfather, I appreciate you doing this, believe me. All the fancy people. My somewhat distinguished guest and various other hangers on. May I have your attention, please? Ching, ching, ching. I give you the two markets. Clap, 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 clap. Yes, why are we here? The mountain climber and the artist. Formidable. Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, a young. Franz is an artist. I found on the wrong side of the mail. Ooh. Where I myself also live. <laughs> to be precise, I found one of his paintings. You see, the young artist is like a lion. Maybe he sings a little. Strong and ferocious, and always on the hunt for a better painting. That was creepy. Why did that randomly appeal? I hope to find a suitable model at the gathering. <laughs> oh, what is it you? T what is it you told me, Franz? You are able to look into a person's soul. Creepy person. No, Gustav, I will not be so presumptuous. No one can see into another person's soul except God. Each of us is made up of layers of personality. I like that. One. I must dig deep into those layers before my portrait comes to life. Franz here threw out one of his pictures. It also hit me. <laughs> and on some level, it did. You are very familiar with the painting in question. Is it this one? There it hangs, woman with violin. That's beautiful. Although we all know her real name very well, if you have the energy. Let us welcome the promising young painter in our society. Who are you going to paint next, Franz? Uh, 
Yes, who? Was the gentleman, one of the ladies, maybe? I won't tell. It's a secret. But you'll know soon. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. <laughs> you may be right. Yes, indeed. So many famous paintings. And mine right next to them. Is it good enough? They certainly seem to think so. Enjoying yourself, my boy. Anything I can help you with? I'm holding up. How about you? Any thoughts on who I should talk to? I need to make sure my next model. Any thoughts on who I should talk to? I suggest talking to. I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong, and I'm sorry. Franlin Lacquans. Lacquinsi, the art critic. That's her over there in the red dress. All the people here should be the most interesting. I'm holding up. How about you? Actually, I'm fine. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Can you make sure of my next model? My career depends on it. Good luck on your hunt. Middle-aged gentleman, join conversation. You look snobby enough. Gramophone. Let's join the conversation. Excuse me, Alphonse. So lucky, gentleman. Yeah, why not? Ah, Muppet. The art is very new, isn't it? Agreed. He's very new. Yes, indeed. Wonderfully new. I don't know why I'm going so high pitched for girls. Thank you. Have you decided on your next model? Not yet. And if you'll excuse me. Middle aged gentleman. He's indeed a conversation with the young lady outside. France Market. Join conversation. Her Mortars, please excuse me. Joseph has been waiting for me since he arrived. You're a snobby lady, jeez. <laughs> well, ran grandfather is a mountain climber. A gramophone. He's playing the lion song. Well played, de developers. Beautiful. You think so? Market! How much are your paintings worth? How much does one go for? Until recently, they were worth the price of a loaf of bread. Why do you ask? Are you interested in buying one? Why do you ask? It's not the success of an artist's measure as of all things in money. Do you think only in terms of money? Ha ha ha! Don't be too hard on me, young man. I'm a merchant banker. We tend to do that. How do you measure success? Artist's success is staying true to a vision. It's not something that can be measured. It is measured in followers. It's never measured in followers. No matter your success, never, I believe, it is measured in followers. I believe success is measured on the effect you have on people. So if you have a good effect on people, then your success is quite high. If you are proud of the products you are making, your success is high. So I think it's saying true to a vision. Ha! Ah, truth! It is true you are considering people in this very salon for your next painting. Why is it random? Will you paint me, Market? I will certainly consider you. Generous offer. Excuse me. Something else popped up, I think. Uh, anything else before I talk to him? Nope. Talk to him. Don't get any bright ideas. That'll be your next subject. Um, how do you choose a m your model? I choose whatever I want to spend time with. Whoever bits fits my best. Whoever best fits my needs. Your needs? I have a painting in my head before I start. I want to show the world the layers I see. Now you know this model must be someone interesting. Was there something else? Did I make a good first impression? They loved you. You fit in here perfectly. <coughs> Was there something else? I'll talk to you later. Woman with violins. Wait, what? Vienna. I can't believe I'm finally here. That's an amazing view over the city. Join conversation. Pauline, are you invading me? How do you know my grandfather? Pauline, are you invading me? Hey, Marka, are you following me? No. 
Good. I don't need another puppy. As always, it has been a pleasure talking to you, Joseph. Can you stop walking away? Bruh. Could I have more Vienna Society? Pardon me. Boy, stop. Puppy. Enjoying yourself, my boy? Anything I can help you with? How do you know Francie? I've known her for years. She's a very close friend of mine. But a tough critic. See you later, Grandad. Good luck on your hunt. I just want to talk to you. Here we go again. Round and round. I feel like I'm on a rizzo. I'd like to start over. I am... I think that's better. Franz Market. My name is Greta Laconze. There. Was there anything else? What? Listen, I'm talking to you for Joseph's sake, but I can hardly respect you or your work. Excuse me? I'm sorry. It is not your fault. It's alright. What do you think of my paintings? Do you want an honest answer? Yes. I think they're ridiculous. It's so obvious what you're trying to do, is it? As obvious as your lack of finesse. Because you know you're trying to drip in finesse, and it don't make no sense. Your expressionism is without expression. But I... You're just too young, too inexperienced. I'm sorry. Oh, now if you'll excuse me. No, I want you to be my model. Exit. None of these people... Leave, Franza? Not until you find the next subject. She just left! You would have nothing. Can't talk to them. I want to paint you. Well, have you decided? Will you paint me? Um, am I successful enough for you? I don't know. What do you mean? Let me think. It's clear you look for value in things. My investors would desert me if I didn't. I look for layer of value in my models. No one is who they seem on the surface. We are much like in that, I must know from whom I deal with. Precisely. I confess I will have thought a banker would be the last person to understand. We are far more alike than I would have imagined. More than I ever want you to. What is your name? Reynard Morrison. At your service. Is there anything I can tell you? Okay, you never really ask how much you're worth, but I still want to ask. You need never ask someone in real life. Let's just say the bank is doing quite well. What are you doing with all the money? I invest it. In technology? I'm not particularly interested in progress for its own sake. In 1898, I invest in telephonic devices. But mutations, arms, I do not know. And most interesting discussion. Here, have I convinced you to paint me a few layers down? You might find a greedy lying bastard. Yes, I might. The flawed subjects can make interesting portraits, too. If you'd like to excuse me. Oh, my painting! I want to paint you! I'd like to paint you. I'd like to paint you. Ah, I feel honoured. Where and when? My workshop. At your earliest convenience. Splendid, I shall see you then. I'm getting the hell out of here, because it's too awkward in here. Alright, let exit the hell out of here because I found my porch. I must not forget grandfather. Oh yeah. Sorry granddad. Grandfather, I found my next model. Great. So you're ready to leave? I know I am. Yes, let's get the hell out of this creepy party. Everyone's like mm. -da -da -da. The Lion's Song, episode 2. Antho anthology? Anthology. Salon. My workshop. Run, boy, run. Run. Run to your little workshop that's almost taller than is the tallest building here. Open. Good day. Please have a seat. A divan. I'm told the psychologist fraud provided one for his subjects as well. Well, you do need some therapy session. Those clothes you've chosen do nicely. You look very much like a personal banker, he, uh, undressed perfect. 
The clothes you chose were nice. I expect all portraits are artistic flatter than models, so thus must the fee be objected upwards. Oh, I'm seeing the layers. I get it now. Are you comfortable? If I may, I th think I'll stand. You must stand after all. <laughs> I've never had a model worry about my comfort. I assure you, I'm used to standing. This is where we achieve a necessary wrapper, I think. If you are ready, we can begin. Would you mind if I ask about yourself as I paint? Only if I may ask questions of you as well. Then it becomes a conversation instead of an interrogation. As you wish. Then ask away. Did you grow up in a prosper family? I'd like to say I came from a humble background. My story would be far more interesting, but I confess when I was born, I found a silver spoon thrusted into my mouth. I guess the more and more we learn, the more different things we get. But how much do you usually sell one of your paintings? 50? That's cheap. I can't believe it. They should be worth much more than that. Well, they weren't worth anything before. You must have a leg of steel. How are you progressing? The body of the work is almost complete, but in many regards we are finished. Again, I see layers, but one, the truth must be literally staring. The truth must be literally staring me in the face. The body of the work, no, that one. Ah, oh, the investor's nightmare. What is a balance sheet hiding? I hope you won't be disappointed. Will you allow me to see the painting? Will you trust me? Not yet I trust you. Now you must trust me. I'll see the painting. Good heavens. I look as if I have weight of the world on my shoulders. I'm not Atlas. But perhaps this will inspire me to never forget my duty as a human being. As well as a banker. I hope you are pleased. Indeed, yes. You have remarkable talent. Yet you remain unsatisfied. I will always be my toughest critic. I know something is missing. I hope one day I can please myself. You're always your toughest critic, no matter what people say. You have, you could have a million people screaming at you, telling you you're doing wrong. You can ignore them. You're your toughest critic, no matter what. And it can suck. I understand. We are very much like you and I. I have the better sense of humor, but we are perfectionists always survive, striving for more. I thank you. Show it to the saloon, then have it sent to the bank. I just have random outlines in my room now. See? Hours later? No, no, not again! It happens again! How long? Hours. Hours have gone. Where? Bookshelf. I want to explore as much as I can. The vase grandma gave me used to have flowers in there, but it's dried out dead. My paints and brushes are willing me. I must do them justice. I want to see the portrait. Raymond, I've Variety among bankers. He cares about those who trust their money to him. He was so close to uncovering that last layer, his true self, but made him able to see himself in his other shoes. Should I take it to the saloon? Um, most would say that they like it. Whether they truly understand it or not. Yes, come what may, I must take it to the saloon. In a second, I want to see everything else. I want to explore. Not a single one of these is worth finishing. It doesn't capture them. What did I see in her? Hope? To escape her life? Someday. Nice. My first painting, The Layers of This Man. Okay. Oh, no. is there anything else? What triggers my blackouts? Okay, I just want to check that there's nothing I'm missing. Adidas, 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 
which is not all we say in Australia. We say Adidas. I don't know what really when people say Adidas, I'm like, the hell is that? Well, this is pretty. That was a pretty background. The following morning. But I just... <sighs> Let's run to the saloon. Come on. Why couldn't you just go boom, 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 or boom? It's a whole new world. Do these people like ever leave? I wonder, did they put up my new painting? I'd like to see it. Because I'm blind. The artist is always blind. Ooh, I like it. The banker. The empathy of his hand, one could hardly miss that. It shines through even in my painting. What does good old Greta say? Hello! Oh, hello. I'm happy I didn't have to chase after you today. I have no idea what you mean. You bought a painting. Yes, it. it's over there, as you can see. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, I didn't notice. You just assumed you could bring it here. I'm sure I can improve over on women with violin. I think that one. And you would like me to verify that? Yes. Unfortunately, I'm already late for another engagement. No, no. Please tell us what you think. Yes, please tell us. Don't be disappoint. Don't disappoint us. <laughs> We're still going to get together. You caught something of him. Something perhaps surprising to those who don't know him well. I did my best. Yes. Perhaps. You prove then? While it is better, it doesn't really do him justice, does it? I, I know him for years. There's much more to him than you show in this painting. Mm, a certain vendor, but lacking depth. Yes. I can see the problem now. I realize I still have much to learn. You're not being truthful with the brush. You must think outside of your own experience. Go out into the real world. Try to see real people. Abandon the bright bundle of high society. Ah, yes, so bright, if only for time. Yes, Brandy, you're the one living in a bubble and go where? Ha! Huh. Ask your grandfather. My grandfather? Yes. He climbs mountains. He knows what it's like to feel the sharp rock biting into his hands. The black earth under his fingernails. He knows the real world. Okay. Goodbye. I'ma just I'ma go I'ma just leave now. I'm just gonna be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I leave? Thank you. So Drove to this apartment. Grandfather, I need help. Told me to experience the real world. I don't know what that means. You know her well, what do you think she meant by that? Meet me in the market later, I'll show you. I can show you the world. I can show you my driveway. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason when he said, oh, let me show you, I was just like, <laughs> I can show you the world. I'm pleased you asked me to meet you, but something is on your mind. What can I do for you, my boy? I really need to talk some, oh, no, I'm not saying that. Uh, tell me to speak to you. Do you need something to tell me to see? Ooh, hiccup, sorry. Froline said I need to experience the real world. For me, the real world is north face of Pit Alus, the upper end of overhearing from the foot of the rock's face. It's 40 horizontal meters. My god. It was a first climb in 1879. I climbed it with Daniel, me a year later. That's as real as it gets. I thought this market would be real enough for me. Of course it's real. Not like the saloon. Their world is made of words. Greta knows this. But the real world? Our world? This is made of deeds. Not as dramatic as my example, but real all the same. I understand that, Grandad. Okay, then let's see if you do. Look over there. The woman at the vegetable stand. What do you see? A plant millage well, a woman who carries herself well with age. She looks familiar. She must have been beautiful when she was younger. Carries herself well for her age. That's Madame Eric Thatcher. 
She was once a famous actress, wasn't she? She still is, and one of the most beautiful women who ever breathed. You know her? I did. Once upon a time. Before I met your grandma. She has an incredible presence ever known. Let's go speak to her. I can wait here if... Let's go speak to her. Speak to her, Franz. It may sound strange to say this of an actress, but she is one of the realest people you ever meet. And I will talk to her. Let's go talk to her. Let's have a conversation. Excuse me, madame. Why, hello there, schnookums. Forgive the intrusion. Forgive it. Didn't I see you at the bug hit last week? Front row? Ah, uh, yes. I was there. It wasn't our best night, but we... Well, what can I do? What indeed, my name is. You must be my next piece, Schnitzel. They say it's forbidden in Germany. So much is. Yes, I'll be sure to see it. My name... Now, don't tell me. You sent chocolates to my dressing room, perhaps. Well, actually, of course I wasn't able to eat them. I'm on a strict diet, always. You have to look good, especially for the boys in the front row. That's why I'm at the store. Oh, madame, such a celebrated actress. Anything you want. Half price? <laughs> now, schnookum. What did you say your name was? My name is France. But no, you can't be. You're too young, I... I'm a painter. Your grandfather Joseph, yes. How silly of me. How is Joseph? I don't suppose he still climbs? Every chance he gets. <sighs> and and your grandmother? She passed away a few years ago. The herbalist! I must not forget to stop at the herbalist. Well, are you coming? Uh, confused, but yes. Very confused, actually. It is good to see you again, madame. Let's see, let's see. What have we here? I just can't... I just can't make up my mind, apparently. I can't make up my mind. What are your choices? The green, the blue, or the red one? What do you think? I think you look good the way you are. What are you looking for? I can imagine you're hard always looking What are you looking for? Would you read the label for me? My eyes. Red is for foot bathing powder, exotic skincare. Green is for anti aging. Exotic skincare. And. Green is for anti aging. And. Foot bathing powder. I have all of them already. You don't need them. A liar. You're Francis Marte, the painter. Yes. Would you paint me? I'm asking because I feel you understand me. I might. But if I did, I would paint you as you are, without all this. Why? Your beauty is going because you are real. You would paint who I am. You would paint... Me? Yes. If you would only let me. When will you decide? Soon. Before the day is out. I'll make a decision over lunch. As I... Will I? I, I thank you. And tell your grandfather over there to come visit me. It's been too long. Okay, let's go talk to Grandpappy. Puppy, I'd like to paint Madame, but she wants to see you. So, um, she wants you to visit her. She, she saw me. Yes. Oh, well, I have an engagement at my club. All climbers sharing lies. Have fun. Well, does it help you out seeing the real world? I don't know. Take care, my boy. My boy. Old lady. I can't see what she's selling. High times at the market. Lots of flowers. Policeman. Let's go talk to the police. Have respect for the police. A policeman. I need to think. Well, I don't want to think. What can I do for you? Do you have art supplies? I'm a herbalist. I don't deal in calmnesses. Deal in cures, creams, and curiosities. I do have a, have a special kind of colour. Mix it myself, but I'm saving for a master painter, a great artist, someone like Clement. So, about the colour, yes, I'd like to buy it. It's not for sale, I only give it to a true master painter. 
I'm also some magic. I don't need to think. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Exit the market. Boop boop. Because apparently I need to think for some stupid reason. Let's go to the cafe and get something to eat because my tummy is a rumbling. Apparently. Was everything to your liking? Yes. Delicious. Anything else? I'm fine, thank you. Would you like to look at the equation? I vary your opinion. If you like. But ensure this outside my expertise. Thank you, Naya. You're a good friend. I like how I can see people's different personas. I think that's fascinating. I think I want to exit. I know I can investigate, but I really want to paint her because I think she'd be such a fascinating painting. So now that we've had lunch, hopefully, the boy can run and we can paint the beautiful lady. Because wouldn't it be nice to be painted? Wouldn't it be nice if someone just, you know, like someone you knew, obviously, not a stranger, just like walked up to you and went, hey, you're my inspiration for a painting. Can I paint you? I'd be like, you want to find a prettier model? Because, yeah. Boy, you don't need time to think. About the color. I'm the stars, knows who I am. Indeed. Franza here is the next star in the artist from of Vienna. Don't waste your time on Clement. Instead, invest in the future. Hmm. If it is you who recommends them, I can't deny the madame her wish. Here you go. Use it wisely. Thank you. A curious color. I don't need time to think. This game making me want to think. Who has time to think? No worry in the world. The silent of ham. It's meat. Okay, so I, I've clicked on everything in here, so I'm going to go back to the cafe and just pick everything there, I guess? Or actually, hmm, I'm going to go back to my workshop. Actually, no, screw it. Go to the cafe. Workshop's too far. It's like half a map away. Good day. There's a table for you ready. Straight ahead. Second table to the right. The waiter will be with you. Enjoy. Um, I wonder what they're discussing. No, he's too difficult. What a subject that man would be. I must paint him. Gentlemen, please pardon the intrusion. Let me introduce myself. My name is Franzia Marquette. The artist? Sir, this is an honour. What can we do for you? Is this your friend here? I'm girl. You must forgive me. But I have been stunning you for across the room. Uh oh? Your face is remarkable. Thank you. And... I want, I must paint you. You must? I'm sorry. It's impossible. Ah, oh, well. Perhaps it is for the best. No, I want to paint him. Let me paint the male. The complexity you must have been my only failure. You won't allow me to paint him. There must be clear. I shouldn't disturb them further. He's completely lost in that book. Minister if you're... Can I help you? Uh, sure. You say, you see? Okay. Well, excuse me, waiter. What can I do for you? I like some coffee. I don't know any of these brands. <laughs> Delicious. I don't drink coffee as it is. Correct. And more coats than there are people here. Shows you what a button-up society we live in. Um, so, waiter. Excuse me, waiter. Never mind. So I guess now that we've got all of our potential... Can I interrupt and talk to you? You won't allow me to paint him. So now that we've talked to those two and we know we can't paint them, maybe we can go back and the lady be like, 
Yeah, you can pay me now. Mm, girl, yes. Yeah, because now that's fucked off. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Sips tea. I wish I had tea right now. Honestly. <laughs> I feel like a cup of tea. I feel like a tea of cup. <laughs> oh, that probably sounds weird. I'm sorry. I'm actually quite close to my... So you're probably getting like weirdness. And I'm sorry. Schnuckles. I want to paint you. Please meet me at the workshop at the Holson by 10. I'll be there soon. I have another model to paint. And it's the most beautiful model on the planet other than you. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's fun going into character. You're just like, what? What? Oh, me? How dare you? Excuse me. But as you may or may not know, I am only the prettiest lady in the world. But I am the most handsome boy you'll ever see. Fun fact. Wow, you were a stage of set. All props are in the expected places. Right up there, a vented woman into a stage left. Please have a seat. Let's begin the painting. A lovely tune. Oh, so she speaks. You look so tired, Schnuckle. I notice in the market too. Are you well? I haven't been sleeping. Would you like to postpone? I'm, I'm at peace when I paint. Very well. This is how you'd like to have me pose. Close your chosen. You know, see. Uh, would you mind the veil? I wore it for the street only. I still have my vanity. I'm afraid. There now. No outfit, no subverge. I am as you see me. Your beauty shines through. This is the one I most paint lovely. Your beauty shines through. Like a face powder does that. <laughs> Madame, I can't paint if I'm laughing. You think I'm pretty, Schnookum? Your voice. You remind me of a surgeon. So calm. I won't hurt, will it? You promise me. I promise. I may ask you a question while I paint. Now you sound like fraud. Do you like fraud? I know of him, of course. Someone else compared me to him at some we've never met. I know of him, of course. Has he helped? He has helped me many times. I've seemed to collect neurosia like souvenirs from the characters I play. Hmm. Interesting. Hours later. Act 2. The unpainter looks haggard. His model looks as fresh as a tulip bud. Um, your voice is very melodic. Thank you. I always enjoy emphasizing the different voices of my character. Is there anything? Uh, why did you become an actress? So this handsome young man would fall in love with me. Tell the truth now. That was the truth. Of course, after a time I realized I could take the audience by the hand, open their eyes, and lead them into a new world. There was power in that and love. I'm not getting the other personas. What is your principal vice? Schnookums, really? What kind of question is that you have to ask a lady? Oh, never mind. I'm an actress, not a lady. Is it sex? Sex is delightful. But it's not a vice. It is a necessary. Like breathing or eating or good reviews. Is it alcohol? Drink! can be conventional company at the moment, but I will never be a friend. Is it gambling? Only a gambling on love. Once I thought I'd won it, but it wasn't to be. What is it then? Why, gluttony, of course. A surprise you can paint me and still need to ask. Hmm. So we got three personas, I see. A few more hours later, I three. The actress feels the layers of her psychic being peeled back like an artichoke. What a many vegetables she hates. I propose, when we met at the market, you mentioned me in diet, you said you, knew, you were interested in the herbalism. You said you knew my granddad. Were you and granddad love? That's not a question, it's perhaps an answer, Stuckum. Hmm. Interesting. I'm almost finished, and? I think your, your beauty is here in the terms you're a wonderful model. Why did you hedge, hegitate? Hesitate! I'm not sorry that I'm lost, I'm missing something. I see more layers with you. 
than any of my earlier models, but I know I'm missing something. This is why you can't sleep. It's worse than that. I have blackouts, and I have this feeling that I'm empty. I have no layers at all. I'm one of three sisters. I don't understand. No, my sisters are strong. I'm a great woman. It was easy to tell when we were children. They were destined for great things. I was not. Ooh, but you're a great actress. Too many in Vienna society think there is such thing. Many think us little better than whores. There is no in between. This is new. My god, it's new. It is not new. It has been that way for ages. No, I see more. No, come back. No. It's gone. I've lost it. It's gone. Curtains. I finished the painting at dawn. Now it is near dawn again. So he's trying to find out who I am. I've lost an entire day. And the fate awaits me. Go home. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. The following morning. Don't tell me if the paint again. My eyes. Cause mm, I can see the camera's flashing saying, I'm dying. I'm like, I'm sorry, I forgot to charge you. I just want to see what the painting looks like. I'm sorry. Hmm. There's no record on. Um, please excuse my appearance of painting. What do you think? My boy. How you get our greatest actress to pose like that, I've never known. It's so dreadful. Dreadful? It's brilliant. Your growth between the paintings and your last is amazing. Please excuse my appearance. You look terrible, Market. Whatever is the matter, I'm tired. Just a little tired. Tired? Will you allow me to paint you? I call it the walking dead. Have you seen Florence? I doubt she knows you brought another painting. I'll telephone her. You're back. Are you alright? My painting. You made great progress. As I knew you would. You know I would. Forget the painting. Forget the painting. You're now Marquette, just for now. You really don't look well. What happened to you? It happens every time. What do you mean? I lost hours. They're just blank. When does this happen? After every painting. You need a doctor. I just need some sleep. No. You need fraud. Dr. Frauds of it, just keep talking. About what? Anything that comes to your mind. Pictures, words, stories, anything. Um, I see people in layers. You mean like an onion? No. What do these layers look like? It depends on the layer. Some layers look like the person, some look entirely different. More like a symbol. It's hard to describe. Naturally, if it were easy, you would be me. They shift in and out of my perception. What do you think they are for? Aspects of their personality. Do you see your own? No. Why not? I just don't have any. Rubbish. As a child, I looked for them in the mirror. Wrong mirror. Wrong mirror? What does that mean? I don't know. It sounded good. I've never been able to see them. Ah, that's different. Do you see layers in people? I wouldn't call them that. What do you call them? We're not here to discuss me. We're here to discuss you. I don't know what you want me to say. Many of my patients find it hard to talk to them about. What do you want? I kick the furniture around. <laughs> Does that help? No, it hurts like hell. But it's better than me kicking them. If they won't talk, how can we cope? I've had blackouts. Wonderful. No, they aren't. Wonderful that you are talking. Not the blackouts. What typically happens on days when you lose it? Um. I paint my portraits. Do you talk to your model? Ask about their lives? Yes, it helps reveal the layers. Naturally. Your psychiatric something. I can't see the last word. Sorry. A few days later. Let's pick up where we left off. In the last session. You painted your portraits. What happened after you painted them? 
Um, there's something else. But I can't see it. So I with Madame. What did she say? She mentioned... Oh! Wait, wait! Something just happened! Please share it. I want to be excited. I saw a layer! My layer! Reflected in my glasses. Me symbolizing seeing into your soul. No, you weren't seeing into my soul. Oh? Well, that's disappointing. Where did you see it? Right there, above. Around me! We secret desire perky. My own layer! That's the first time! Interesting. What did Madame say? She wondered. About the second easel in the workshop. What second easel? It has a canvas on, covered by a sheet. She's mistaken. Well, in that case, I won't suggest to go immediately to your workshop and rip off the sheet. You're not making sense. My god, it just happened again. I saw another in my layer. Go to your workshop, rip off that sheet. If you can, it is all downhill from there. If you can't, sorry. Run! Run to your workshop! Run! 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 Before my battery dies! Mm. Note to self, charge things before you film. Stupid me! No easel. The layers, they're gone. What? Covered painting. Is it of me? It... it's me. My god. I've been trying, trying to find my layers. Battery just died, hold on. But I saw them. They're there. It's me. Is this what I've been painting during my blackouts? I tried to find the layers that resemble with me. It's far from complete. Time to finish this. But no rushing it this time. Four figures. This figure reminds me of Madame. I enjoy painting her so much. There's also something about myself. Something we share. Passion. She's a very passionate woman. But what are we very passionate about? So I pity what things are. I think work is what we both live for, to share something with us, the people around us. We both enjoy making them see. Making them believe. Hours later. The figure of bear the closest resembles me. During my session with fraud, I saw my own layer. It but if for a short moment. Can I bring them out again? What did they show me when? They asked me about my dreams. George tells about the patient, about blackouts, about my dreams. I seemed to focus on them. Yet I was just making them up. I don't know when I last dreamed. No, that wasn't it. About my blackouts. Damn it. So I can't remember what they actually talked about. It wasn't dreams. It was blackouts. That's the Karen figure. This feels familiar. Um, he mentioned to care about others. He kept inquiring about money. He mentioned our sense of humor. Yet it was him telling all the jokes. It was merely laughing. No, that's not it. Well, that's what he said. Hours later. I'm coming. I hastily painted the figure. It's hard to make out what exactly it's supposed to be. No wonder. Past week had been so revealing. Haha, <laughs> good one. But in everyone I met, there was a connection. Even with those when I saw Nolea, even with the young composer, Granda. He brought me to the saloon. He showed me the real world. He was there for me, always. Hey! All the 
players. Hmm. This is me. First time I feel like there's something more to me, sharing something with me. Reflected by others. I've got to show them, show her. This is what I've been missing. But it's not complete. Weeks later. I guess we go to the saloon first and then the market. Finally, I've not heard from you in weeks that so you were right. What can I do for you? I have another painting. Well, let me see. Hmm. Don't just anyone some paintings just aren't meant to be seen. Why? Our audience. They want to see something mesmerizing, something magical. They don't want to peek behind the curtains of mastery. The mastery to remain mystery, unachievable. Don't show them your journey. Show them your destiny. This painting is journey through and through. I'm looking for Greta. She comes by from time to time, but not as often as she used to. Is something wrong? Maybe. I don't know. The adventure session are gone. She has seen it all. And with you not coming here anymore... Anyway. You know where Greta lives. If I did, why should I tell you? Um, are you trying to bring him back to the saloon? Hmm. Very well. Wait a moment. Here, this is it. Thank you. Thank you, Gustav. And, of course, she just lives not far from where I paint. What a shock! What a horror! Sorry if the camera um, quality got worse. Because I had to change cameras. Same apartment. This is her. What are you doing here, Franz? What do I want from her? Why bother her? This is not it. This painting. Story of my life. Who's there? It's me. How did you find me? Clement, ah, what? What can I do for you? Would you let me paint you? Do you think you're ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Although your layers are difficult to uncover, so be it. You choose me as a model, I'll help you uncover me. I want to thank you. What for? Rescuing me. I only did what was necessary. Your future is up to you. I've painted a new portrait. A self-portrait worthy of Van Gogh. The cost was high, but I would never have survived had I not painted it. I like to buy it. It's yours. You've already given me more than I can ever repay you. Thank you. That's all I wanted to say to you. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, that was a intense scene. Where are we going? So. Oh, this little child. You found reality after all. I found myself. Would you let me paint you, Granddad? Do you feel like you're ready, Grandson? Ready as I'll ever be. Would you paint me in my prime scaling the pit at all? I'd paint, no. I'd paint you in your prime today. So be it. If you choose to paint me, I'd be honoured. Grandad. Wait up. Hmm. All the paintings have gone. Who shall I paint? I think 
I think Greta. Greta. So be it, because she has the most fascinating layers to peel back. So I feel like she'd be the most interesting painting. Finn. And this chapter has drawn a close. Sorry, I was gonna sneeze. Sixty percent also gave the portrait to Laos. Did I give it to Laos? I don't remember. Fifty nine percent also painted the banker's portrait. Yeah. Six six also painted the actress's portrait. I'm interested to see who painted what here. Six five didn't win Grace's affection either. Oh. Anthology. I was supposed to win her affection. In the next episode of The Lion's Song. A little sneak preview. A mathematician like me. A bright mind with a bold heart. I hate math. <sighs> Must hide her true self to be heard. Story of my life sister. The Lion's Song, Episode 3. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. So these are all the different creators. And the different studios and stuff. So yeah, I will end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Anyway... Alright, see you guys in the next video. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. What a long episode.